Welcome to the official Travel Guide channel, where we review everything about travel, leisure, and travel recommendations. This video will show you everything you need to know about Cape Town and why you should add it to your list of places that you'd love to visit. Cape Town is a contemporary cosmopolitan city surrounded by nature. Table Mountain, one of the new seven wonders of the world, centers the mother city, which is recognized for its gorgeous beaches, astounding biodiversity, award-winning food and wine, and sheer range of experiences available. Cape Town is a well-liked tourist destination for travelers from all over the world because of its fame for its sun, sea, and beauty. Hence, it should come as no surprise that they have consistently chosen this seaside treasure as the best city in the world. Just in case you are wondering why the Travel Guide is doing a video on Cape Town, Cape Town and the surrounding province of the Western Cape never fail to impress when it comes to breathtaking beauty. Cape Town has forests, beaches, gardens, mountains, oceans, grasslands, nature reserves, winelands, and one of the most unique floral biomes in the world, Finbus. We only have found such a diverse landscape in a small number of locations worldwide. Don't forget to visit the Kirstenbosch Botanical Garden if you're interested in Finbus. People have named Kirstenbosch Botanical Garden Africa's most beautiful garden. Weather. The climate in Cape Town is that of a pleasant Mediterranean, one that prevails year-round, giving us lengthy summer days to enjoy everything the city has to offer. The spring and fall seasons are the best times to visit Cape Town. Visit Cape Town between March and May or September and November to take advantage of the best weather, fewer people, and a genuine experience. You can easily lounge on the beach and take a stroll through the city during these months because of the temperature, which usually ranges from 68 to 77 degrees Fahrenheit and there is little chance of rain. November through November are the hottest and busiest months in the Southern Hemisphere, so spring and fall offer clean, empty beaches, cheaper hotels and flights, and more comfortable weather. The rainy season lasts from June through August, and the average high temperature is only around 60 to 64 degrees Fahrenheit. Restrictions Cape Town takes satisfaction in how it handled COVID-19. To ensure visitor safety, all hotels and tourism destinations adhere to the stringent COVID-19 guidelines. To prevent the virus from spreading, the nation has strong COVID-19 laws in place. All visitors from outside South Africa must arrive with a COVID-19 test result that is negative and isn't more than 72 hours old. If you didn't get a COVID-19 test before leaving, you'll have to enter mandatory quarantine at your own expense. Crime Sadly, crime is a major issue in Cape Town. Fortunately, there aren't many crimes committed against tourists, but the current drought and water shortage have everyone on edge particularly the middle class, which is inevitably white. If someone offers to be your tour guide, decline, unless you are certain that they are trustworthy, because there has been an increase in complaints of tour guide fraud. If you can, try to go with a friend and be on the lookout for fraudsters acting as officials. Avoiding suspicious areas is one of the best things you can do to ensure your safety while exploring Cape Town. Asking at your hotel's front desk is a wonderful approach to learning about these locations. Accommodation It might be a challenging to anticipate what to expect when moving to a new city. It might be difficult to decide where to stay in Cape Town, especially without local knowledge. Although the waterfront is not officially a neighborhood, it is the center of activity where you can frequently find upscale hotels, restaurants, and bars. You may stroll to the starting sites of tourist attractions and it is often safe. In addition, it serves as the primary station for city sightseeing bus lines and is home to the Aquarium and the Robert Island Museum. Although the lodging in this area is not cheap, it is always of good quality. For those who like to be involved in the action, the City Bowl itself is a fantastic option. You'll be close to lively bars and clubs, and there are top-notch restaurants nearby. There are upscale hotels, seedy hostels, quaint inns, and just about any other type of lodging you can think of. There's something for everyone in this vibrant cosmopolitan blend. To get you from point A to B, there are several buses, taxis, railroads, and Ubers available. Activities Water biking in the sea. With these cutting edge water bikes, walking on water is simple as pie. Simply sit down and start pedaling, just as you would on a conventional bicycle. The best time to see marine species such as Cape fur seals, penguins and whales is during certain times of the year, a fun and environmentally friendly way to cruise the ocean. 
The crew may direct you from the Simons Town Dock through the naval installation and towards Boulder Beach or down the coastline towards Glencairn from a nearby guideboat. One hour tours are the norm, but 30 minute and two hour tours can also be scheduled. The minimum age is 13 and minors must travel with an adult. The maximum weight is 110 kilograms, while the minimum height to reach the pedals is 1.5 meters. The available times between 7.30 a.m. and 1.30 p.m. for one hour tours. Scooter down Table Mountain. You could have traversed Table Mountain's trails a number of times, but have you ever done so on a freewheeler? When you're on an off-road adventure, the breathtaking scenery is even more energizing since you get to experience an adrenaline rush as you fly down hills. The two-hour journey starts at the summit of Signal Hill, where you take your first ascent to Bocap. From there, you continue down the lower slopes of Table Mountain and drop via Deer Park. The scooters don't have motors, but they are very strong. They are used to get around the Swiss Alps in the summer, so they are comfortable and good for the environment. It's good to know that between the ages of four and 10, children can ride as passengers. Older kids can operate their own scooters. Transport is offered to return you to the starting location. However, you need to make your reservations in advance. The available times are 10 a.m., noon, and 3 p.m. from Monday through Saturday. A tremendously popular and achingly chic Saturday food market in the Biscuit Mill neighborhood of Woodstock, which is now home to numerous independent enterprises. Although gentrification is at its high, the quality of goods being sold cannot be discounted. At Neighborhood Goods, the vast diversity of influences on South African food is on display. Via fresh juices, coffee, and craft beer, you can expect to nibble your way through everything from Biltong to Black Florist Gateau. The Norval Foundation is a small art museum in the southern suburbs that shows a private family collection. Art enthusiasts will appreciate the permanent and temporary shows, which have raised the bar by including some of South Africa's best-known artists. Aimlessly meandering through the outdoor sculpture garden beneath the mountains is highly recommended. Food. What better way to illustrate Cape Town's rich legacy than its many cuisines? It is a mouth-watering fusion of various cultures. The gastronomic paradise has everything, from portions of Dutch East Indies cuisine to contemporary Western fare. With so many restaurants and meals that have won awards, choosing what to eat might be difficult. Here's some must-try foods. Bunny Chow. Bunny Chow is a beloved South African dish that brings warmth to home-style cooking by embracing the Indian influence on food culture. The Durban Pleasure is a hollowed out slice of bread filled to the brim with spicy, flavorful curry, both vegetarian and not. Gatsby. Gatsby, a specialty of Cape Town, gets its name from F. Scott Fitzgerald's renowned book, The Great Gatsby. The town's favorite meat, masala steak, is most frequently served on the huge submarine-style sandwich bread, which is also heavily loaded with a variety of sauces, chips, lettuce, and meats. As a result of its substantial size, the hearty dinner is often served in portions of four to satisfy a hungry crowd. Rice Paper Rolls There are a ton of ethnic restaurants in Cape Town and Vietnamese food is popular there. Rice Paper Rolls are a distinctive Vietnamese dish that is well liked in Cape Town and somewhat healthy alternative on the menu. A variety of ingredients, including tofu, exotic vegetables, and sesame burgers, rolled in delicate rice paper and served cold, will make for the ideal nibble. Restaurants in Cape Town are more affordable than those in the United Kingdom or North America. There are restaurants in every city where you can have a decent main course for around 100 Rand or the best for 200 Rand. Transportation. Cape Town is a big city to navigate. Since it stretches across the nearby flatlands, sprawls across the Cape Peninsula, and climbs the slopes of Table Mountain. Even though the city center is small and walkable, there are a lot of things to do outside of it. Uber, my city buses, and rental cars are the finest modes of transportation. Depending on your demands and budget, there are a few different ways to get around Cape Town. The best choice if you're on a low budget is to take the bus system. You may easily navigate around the city with buses and they are relatively inexpensive. Beaches. Beautiful beaches line the area surrounding Cape Town. There is no denying that the beaches in and around Cape Town are some of the nicest in South Africa, but even while the water occasionally glistens a brilliant blue or turquoise, don't anticipate it to be warm. 
Because the current in this area originates directly from Antarctica, the beaches along the Atlantic coast, including the well-known Camps Bay and Clifton Beaches, are never warm. Clifton Beaches The beaches in Clifton are the most upscale and trendy in Cape Town. They have four lovely white sand beaches with the Twelve Apostles, which are smooth granite rocks. Some of the most expensive real estate in the area is located around these beaches, which are about six kilometers from the city center. To get to them, steep flights of steps must be climbed from the main road. If you want some peace and quiet, go to First Beach. It is typically less congested. If you're taking a dog along, you can travel without their leash. Under the correct circumstances, this beach has good surf and draws body boarders throughout the hot summer months. Second Beach has a vibrant summer volleyball scene and draws a younger crowd. Although Third Beach is Clifton's gay beach, anyone can use it. The beach has a lively vibe and is frequently less crowded than others. The largest and trendiest of the Clifton beaches, Fourth Beach, draws a mix of couples, families, and social groups. It also possesses the coveted Blue Flag Destination, which is given for environmental management, safety, and clean water. It also offers views of Lion's Head, Cape Town's second most famous mountain. Camps Bay, which is close to Clifton and has a Blue Flag Beach, is also nearby. This beach is long, wide, and accessible, though parking can be challenging on summer weekends when it gets quite crowded. Use public transportation or an Uber to avoid this problem. Check out South Beach Campus Bay if you wish to stay at Camps Bay. One of our top picks in South Africa is an opulent boutique hotel. It's 19 apartments, which all face the sea and have balconies on private patio areas, are decorated in a modern white-on-white -white style that was inspired by the Miami art scene. Also, they have fully furnished kitchens with refrigerators that are regularly filled with breakfast supplies, included in the rate. Mew Eisenberg. The water is a little bit warmer at Mew Eisenberg, one of the top surf spots in the Cape Town area. Because it is on the False Bay side, approximately 25 kilometers from the city center, this blue flag beach has relatively gentle waves that are ideal for new surfers. In the summer, lifeguards monitor a stretch of beach at Mew Eisenberg, which is also well liked by families. If you've ever seen pictures of South African beaches with cottages and vibrant colors, you've been seeing Mew Eisenberg. The Mew Eyes is a family-run bed and breakfast near the beach if you want to spend the night in Mew Eisenberg. Large windows and wood floors can be found in the pleasant and spotless rooms. Also, it serves a fantastic breakfast in the morning. For further information, you can visit their official tourism website at www.capetown.travel. Have you ever visited Cape Town before? Please feel free to share your experiences in the comments area. We hope you enjoy our video about Cape Town. Make sure to hit subscribe and ring that notification bell. Please stick with us for more travel guide videos. Travel Guide Channel makes your travel easy.